it's Mr. Leonidas here. I hope you're doing well. I just want to show a, a really neat addition to any uh, self-defense uh, kit or especially an everyday carry uh, kit. And this is the Boker self-defense pin, Boker Plus. And this is uh, the MPP, the multi-purpose pin. Because, well, there, there are several features of this, but I uh, just kind of want to go over just a few like self-defense items that are just really just good to have, like I said, on for, for just carrying, just to have maybe in your vehicle, to have like kind of a grab bag. And uh, pepper spray is always, uh, always just good to have. Not necessarily uh, the best uh, <laughs> if you are in a vehicle, but if all else fails, uh, a good non-lethal choice is uh, pepper spray. I would probably use a taser over pepper spray if I had one, but I do not own a taser at this point. A, uh, and a good folding knife, especially a good tactical folding knife. This is uh, from Fox Knives in Italy. It's uh, their Predator folding knife. Good, solid uh, little folding knife, easy to kind of stash away. And I have the Gerber uppercut. It's a real good uh, punch dagger, push dagger. And uh, so it's a good speedy kind of uh, belt knife to, to have that ready for self-defense. And I actually keep a lot of these in my uh, vehicle. But the topic here is the Boker self-defense pin, which is probably, I think, the most kind of everyday, slimline, stealthy sort of self-defense item. Uh, just because it, it's a pin. I mean, when most people look at it, I mean, it does have a, a sort of an aggressive look to it. But it is a, it is definitely a pin there, no doubt. And it writes uh, pretty efficiently. Actually, uh, I use it for taking a lot of notes. Uh, I, I do carry this with me uh, daily. I use it at work. And uh, don't, the, actually, the only kicker on it is having to unscrew it. Now, some like the Smith and Wesson tactical pins, those are like the pull apart pins that don't require uh, unscrewing it. But hey, you know, this that's a pretty good deal. Now, uh, some of the specs and features is uh, it is uh, aluminum, it's just uh, it's, I think it was anodized black aluminum, so it's a uh, pretty scratch resistant. Now, the pocket clip there has definitely taken some, some wear, a little bit of wear and tear, but still pretty solid. I've, I think I've had this uh, for uh, several months now. Like I said, I do carry it every day and it's very lightweight with the uh, being made out of aluminum. Alright, so I've shown several times how just uh, the pin unscrews like that. But I'm going to go ahead and break it down all the way. You can see the glass breaker on there and the cubiton end. And uh, you uh, open it up with a left hand twist. That would be counterclockwise. And uh, real smooth. Haven't had any issues with the threading on this so far. Real happy with it. So there it is, broken down. And then now, to get to the uh, the pin insert or the pin cartridge, you're going to do a right hand twist clockwise. Now I would go kind of easy on this because there's a spring in there. You don't want to lose that. Although the pin, the ink cartridges are uh, pretty easy to uh, get a hold of. There's your. Uh, there's a spring on there, so like I said, yeah, don't definitely don't want to lose that. But uh, yeah, pretty neat. It has a little uh, ring in there, like a little uh, rubberized O-ring. So it's all pretty much self-contained. Uh, you're not going to get any water or anything in there. It's a very nice little uh, little setup in there. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's pretty easy to find uh, ink cartridges and uh, just uh, yeah, pretty easy breakdown. Real simple. Threads work uh, really well. So. There it is, just uh, broken down. And it has a glass breaker on the cap, and then the bottom half um, adjacent on the other side of the pin it, uh, is a cubiton, which if you're not familiar what a cubiton is, it's a small striking weapon, and, uh, and something like this, now this could even do some puncturing, it's uh, almost uh, sharp. Now, now I won't say stabbing because there is a difference between stabbing and puncturing. But if you were to hit someone just right, I'm sure you can inflict a, a puncture wound. But it's a good cubiton weapon. Uh, good for yeah, it's a it's a non-lethal impact weapon. Uh, good for uh, keeping someone away from you. Good for trapping uh, limbs and things like that. Pressure points. So just a good, awesome little self-defense uh, uh, tool. But uh, like I said, it's just something that I carry a lot. It, it is very lightweight. It's very uh, discreet, uh, very sort of stealthy little uh, item to carry. 
and uh, it, it comes in handy. Uh, and uh, I was never really into uh, self-defense pins, but because I'm a, I'm a knife guy, I like my folding knife. But having something uh, that useful and that sort of discreet on your person, uh, it it really helps. And then like I said, being discreet, it's only a uh, six inches. Uh, long overall, so it's just it's just your normal size pin, and uh, it's it, you know really good uh, grip with the sort of the the ergonomical uh, jimping or the grooves in it. So overall, just just a really nice feel to it, and very very discreet, easy to carry, and the clip has held up very well. So that's pretty much all I've got on that. So uh, it's Mr. Lee Nine signing out, and I appreciate your time.